Which is? I misread it. I thought there was just an announcement. It's just work group announcement. Well, we don't normally use work group announcements and announcements here at the end. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't see it. Did you see Sarah and Jason? And I'd like to, I'd like to, can we open stack and close stack so we know where we're at the beginning and the end? Because one thing I'd like to do for the body since last GA was so long and so hard is actually try to keep this GA a little bit shorter so people can go. Mm -hmm. So if we can open it here. Okay, open stack. Thank you. Anybody else have one? I only have two right now. Okay, so that's it. Um, Action had a special meeting the other night um, to talk about taking spaces, and um, we didn't necessarily agree, but we were thinking that we would be doing Mondays from now on for action meetings. So, if people had ideas or input about that timing, just let me know. Um, gardening work, work group is uh, going to Acorn on Saturday. And um, that's going to be pretty rad. We're going to, I'd like to um, maybe later add uh, an agenda item for Sunday's um, GA about that. Um, I guess I talked to one of y'all. When do I bring that up? Somebody inform me later. Okay. Um, it's going to be fun. Uh, so far we've been organizing it on Facebook. And there's like a, there's like a little... I don't know what it's called, but it's a thing that says whether or not you're going, you may be going, or you're driving. Uh, so far, no one said they're driving. But <laughs> Acorn, thanks for coming. Um, so, I don't know. Let me know if you're, you'd be interested. I think three people are definitely going. That's it, yeah. All right. That was really quick. Wonderful work group announcements. Let's go into informal proposals, and I'd like to also open and close stack for informal proposals. Open stack for informal proposals. Oh, crap. I actually realized we just reversed. We decided that we were going to do the consensus discussion before we went to informal proposals. So, uh, how much time do you think we need for this, Rich? 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Negotiating. Um, you didn't debate that for the fifteen. <laughs> let's let's say let's say how does the body feel about a twenty minute discussion that can be extended if people desire? People supportive of that? Are people Anybody against much? that? Yeah. Can I um, make a quick work group announcement? I know it's a uh, process. Um, we need to be able to donate some money to the friends here. Um, they have a donations box over there. Of If people could put a few dollars in, they provide us with creamer, sugar. Often they provide us coffee and a place. We use their electricity, their heat. This thing? Yeah, that you thing. You can't pass it around? Fuck I've been been to a church in like literally decades. So I thought it would be cool to pass the thing around. Okay. You can't. I don't have to pass around, but if people could just put a dollar or a few cents in, that'd be really wonderful. Thank you. All right, so we're going to take 20 minutes for consensus discussion, possibly a little more. Um, so the genesis for this discussion, in my mind, um, is that we as a body have not necessarily been acting in accordance with, and I'm not making a judgment on this yet, with the true full nature of consensus. Um, uh, I just want to start out with a quick little uh, snippet quote. Um, and basically the goal of what I want to do in this 20 minutes or maybe more um, <laughs> is uh, kind of not only talk about consensus and where we've historically stood on it and kind of where we're trying to actually go with it, like what we think we want, do we want to operate with full consensus um, model as opposed to something else, um, just so you know. Um, 
Consensus decision making highlights the process of making decisions, not just the result. Uh, in a consensus process, all participants are respected and their contributions are welcome. Power leveraging, advers adversarial positioning, and other group manipulation tactics are specifically discouraged by the facilitator or by the structure of the discussion. Um, I have a uh, basically a top ten list of like most common mistakes in consensus process. Um, this list was created by someone who has utilized the consensus process in the community for a long period of time and operates on a website on consensus and facilitation. Um, my perception of the, the, the of this list is that our group at different times has fallen prey to eight of these out of ten most common mistakes. Some just once or twice, some consistently. Um, but I just kind of want to read off the ten, and I'm not going to go into detail on them, but if you want to, like, in your mind, keep track of how many of these most common mistakes you think we've fallen prey to, feel free to kind of think about that, because you're going to need to think about that for the activity we have planned in the next 15 minutes. Um, inappropriate blocks. Enabling bad behavior. <clears throat> Poorly planned agendas. Having the same person facilitate and present a topic. Uh, starting from a proposal instead of an issue. Um, this is one I will actually explain because it's kind of vague. Too many details, basically like two people occupying the entire conversation in a general assembly and just everyone else is just like, eh, kind of zones out because of that. Uh, rushing the process. Um, spending all your meeting time in open discussion. Attaching proposals to people. And uh, number 10 is fuzzy minutes. Or no minutes at all. Um, so in line with this, um, I kind of view, if you, I don't know, maybe you've noticed, maybe you haven't, there's some signs on the walls. There's a consensus over here and Robert's rules over there. Um, and I'm kind of looking at this as, as a continuum. Um, between these two, um, where somewhere in between the two would be Rusty's rules, if you're, if you're familiar with those. Um, if you're ever at Kanawa early on, there were pamphlets for Rusty rule, Rusty's rules handed out there. So if people read those, it might kind of explain why we aren't operating in full consensus, if that's what they read. Um, there's also a very important and less important thing that's going to come into play for our activity. But um, before we get into that, um, so, I know there's other things other than Robert's rules and con consensus and the continuum that exists between them. There's, uh, there's other possibilities, but from, from the continuum of those two, I just kind of want to like discuss some differences between the two, basically um, to inform the activity we're going to do. Um, Okay, great. <laughs> Robert's rules uh, <laughs> is uh, typically uh, you, it's more more of a competitive uh, win lose type of thing. Uh, you have a debate. Uh, typically, the things on the left are Robert's rules. The things on the right are consensus. Uh, so in Robert's rules, we have competition and consensus. You're going to have cooperation. Um, like our progressive stack, you know, in theory, uh, getting everyone's voice heard. Um, instead of a win-lose uh, situation with Robert's rules where we have proposal A versus proposal B, we're supposed to have discussion to get all the voices heard and actually solve the problem. And because of the fact that the entire group is having this discussion, the proposal actually belongs to the group, and so we don't end up asking, oh, can... I add a, 
Bill, can I add a friendly amendment to your proposal? Well, the proposal doesn't belong to Bill. It belongs to the group. It should belong to the group. Um, so in, 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 Robert, in the Robert's Rules uh, method, uh, differences are typically resolved by a vote, um, as opposed to in consensus where they're resolved by discussion. And when they're resolved by a vote, you have dissenters' perspectives, uh, not, they're being suppressed, um, which then can lead to, well, can lead to all sorts of things. Um, basically, I, 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 see the, I see this model on the right, uh, the Robert Rules type of model, um, as kind of like the system in the government currently that I think a lot of us might be fighting against. Uh, a left versus right debate, right versus wrong, um, when I, I perceive we're trying to embrace the, the center's perspective by actively listening and sharing through discussion, um, we sometimes, I think we've potentially failed to do for efficiency sake or whatever. Um, when I first came to Occupy Richmond, it was, it was like the third day at Kanawa. Um, I came with the thought that it was consensus based because that's what I had heard about Occupy. Um, I was slightly caught um, unawares when I found out it was 90% consensus based. Um, just because I assumed it was 100% because I previously lived in a 100% consensus based community. So that's just kind of like the thought process I had. I was like, all right, 90%, that's fine, you know. Um, uh -huh. If I didn't know what Robert's, Robert's <coughs> rules were, I don't think I would yet know what they were. Robert's rules come in a book about that thick, and they're, they're a, 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 a set of rules and procedures about how meetings are conducted. Tradition. And it's much more than what you've gone through there. But, but it's it's a very it's a very important way that that is used by many, many organizations, consensus organizations and voting organizations and so on. So and, and to add to that, I would say that um, there's a lot of uh, procedure um, motions and votes that <sighs> May um, in a consensus model may may be more like uh, active discussion, uh, getting le letting letting the discussion uh, letting the letting the actual proposal bubble up in the discussion. Uh, we need to determine the issue from hearing from all the all the parties. Um, but the the reason I said like what I thought when I came to Kanawa is. I was expecting a consensus, and that's what I was thinking. And I, it, I've, I've recently realized maybe we all have different perceptions about like the process we should use. And so this is what this whole thing on the wall is about. Um, Quick question: So what we have here is the best parts of Robert's rules that we might try to adapt. Um, or the best person. I, I'm basically trying to ask the question to, to the group uh, on an individual level is what um, process do you think we are striving to use? Um, basically what we're going to do shortly is get up, move around, um, and also not just, which, not just what process, um, like if you're, if you're somewhere for instance halfway between consensus and Robert's rules, you're probably in the, in the middle here, but there's another aspect to, to it. Is the process important to you? Or you don't really care that much about the process in terms of whether you use consensus or Robert's rules. So if, if, you, if, if you think a consensus is the way to go and you think it's very important, you want to stand in this corner. Basically, what is what I'm getting at here. Um, and so just, just before we do that, I just want to come up with, I just want to uh, actually tell you a couple more things here. Um, Consensus derives from the Latin con meaning with or together with and sentir meaning to think or feel. So consensus means to think or feel together. And um, with regard to a block, just one more little 
bit of relevant information potentially. It is not enough that the proposal violates one per, one's personal ethics. This might call for a stand aside, but not a block. It must also violate the collective ethics of the group. At the same time, if there are a large number, this is this is something someone else is suggesting that we haven't historically used. But at the same time, if there are a large number of people standing aside, this by itself is reason to reconsider the proposal. Um, and some of these things obviously differ from how we've operated. Basically, I think it's been brought to my attention that we need to potentially figure out where we want to operate on this continuum. So. I guess now, unless we have some more clarifying questions, ask for some clarifying questions first. But if there aren't any more clarifying questions, I would ask everyone to get up. Do you know okay, we got one clarifying question? Uh, what, what, what would you say the process we have been using is? Um, some, some, some amalgamation that has changed throughout time. I mean, it... <laughs> And, and I would say the, the, you know, multiple months of variations that we've gone through have been helpful and useful because we can decide if we want to stick with that, alter that, how we want to alter that. Um, I personally don't think um, where we're at with our process is fully in line and in tune with the spirit of consensus. Um, I was just going to say that uh, I'm not, still not entirely sure what Robert tools are, or um, I'm not necessarily understanding of what other consensus-based models are, and personally I'm just going to sit down. Alright. Offer a point. Um, I studied Robert tools before we had like a mock assembly in 12th grade, as I recall. That's what they use in legislatures. Well, you know, Congress has its own rules, but it's pretty similar. You know, you, you've got the, you know, uh, the standard language of uh, uh, voting, seconding, amending, tabling, all that stuff. Uh, I, I guess I'll further elaborate a little bit more. Um, Robert's Rules of Order are generally a, a competitive win-lose uh, situation. They're Discussion is constrained by motions. Uh, discussion takes the form of a debate with a win-lose approach. Uh, few constraints are placed on the order or frequency of speaking, um, whereas in consensus norms, norms limit the number of times one asks to speak to ensure each speaker is fully heard. That sounds like our progressive stack. Um, Can you have consensus if the whole group doesn't to that consensus if it's 90% or, because then it sounds like one portion is won and the other portion is lost. It's just majority vote. I mean, is, is that what makes us like sort of um, stuck in the, stuck in between those two, between mm -hmm. Robert's rules and consensus? Like mm -hmm. how would we successfully as a group have consensus where people didn't feel left out and, and like they've lost? Did you have a point of information on that? Well, um, I, w I would say uh, that you embrace the dissenters' perspectives and incorporate it into the proposals. Um, there, there's definitely a precedence for um, consensus not being 100%. My assumption when I came to Okinawa was based on my own personal experiences of living in 100% consensus community. There's you know consensus minus one, consensus minus two type of things. Um, I, I, I would suggest that you can still do 90% and do consensus, or at least try. Um, I'm just wondering if this, is, if this is a question that has bubbled to the surface recently and uh, people have been talking about. Uh, I haven't seen anything about it on, uh, on the Facebook page. It's pretty big. Uh, question that you're raising and um, allocated over a fifth of the time of this GA to discuss this. And it really is, hasn't been an opportunity for people to prepare to discuss it. I mean, I'm not prepared to discuss it. 
Um, so I, I think we've, I just want to get a picture of where people like potentially think, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm okay if it doesn't happen tonight, but a picture of where they potentially think we, our process should be. Um, it has bubbled to the surface. My opinion, my personal opinion, which I hesitate to say because I haven't seen the video from Sunday and I did not attend Sunday, but when I first heard about the block, my personal opinion at that time was that it was not in the nature of consensus. Um, that's how it bubbled to the surface for me. Um, there have been like little other things that I kind of like wondered about along the way, like friendly amendments where we like ask a person if it's okay if we add this to their proposal and it, <clears throat> it took me a long time to stand up here and do this apparently. Yeah, yeah. But I, I understand. I, so so now I'm just trying to get a perspective of where people want to take the process so that I can potentially help guide that to that direction. So that's that's what I'm trying to do. So so, so I'm just noting the time, which is 10.24, which is three minutes until our 20-minute period is over. So 8.24. So do we want to extend this discussion 10 minutes is a question, and I think there's a couple more questions, but I'd also like to encourage that we do move to the point of being able to do some of this visual stuff. Because I think what I'm hearing from Rich is that that would allow us to see where we stand and then allow for further discussion coming out of this meeting. Does that seem about accurate? I'd like to encourage us to keep this process moving and also ask, are we okay extending time 10 minutes on this subject? Yes. All those in favor? Stand sides? Any opposed? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Rich, I, I think you got a, a great concept. I think this is much needed. I agree with the um the um the other gentleman. I forget your name. Left. That um say, say again. Left. Left. Uh, um, that a little um a preparation for us would be much helpful to you. But I think, like Graham said, we should move forward to get the feel of this discussion because it's needed. And I think um. I, I salute you for putting it together. I think you, me and you had spoke one time before at Festival Park one night, and um, I understand where you're coming from. I don't know the barber's rules, and I would like to know a little bit more to get the balance, to, you know, but I think you're doing a good thing. I think you're doing a good thing. Can what? Did, did we have over here before? I was just going to say that I thought the whole idea of having a discussion was so that you don't take A or B, but you find a C that's down in the middle somewhere. That, that, that's the idea. So I think, in a, in a sense, our proposal system is a little flawed if it doesn't allow for people to, to hammer out the proposal. It just comes, you know, in a certain size, and you just yes or no. I think we have a problem with the proposal process that it isn't hammered out before it comes out before the body, because then people want to discuss it down the other. All they can do is vote up or down. I think that might be a flaw in that part of the process, but I think the whole idea. Of, but this is to find a middle, not to find A or B, black or white. And Robert's Rules doesn't lock you into A or B. You can have a discussion. The whole thing is we have to be looking for the middle. If you, if you have a position you can't part with, and of course, you could be an obstacle to finding a middle. But the group is supposed to help us find the group's middle. Well, uh, there's, there's a lot of things, and I saw some interest in moving along. So I'm going to ask Ron to open a clear and close a clear stack. Okay, one and, stack. and maybe one minute per person, <laughs> yeah. so that we can then move along. I'm going to go one, two, three. Is there any? Left. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, briefly, uh, I have a suggestion. I think you have a really good uh, function to fulfill here with education. A lot of people just seem to not have a handle on this whole subject at all. It's very important to us how we make decisions and how we work things out. Um, but since a lot of people really don't have a handle on this, uh, my suggestion would be that you have a place for people to go who don't know what in the world's going on. <laughs> or, <laughs> or just or sit where they are or something like that, everybody else to stand or something, because a lot of people aren't going to know how to, uh, how to take any position on it. 
I'm totally open to that. Uh, okay. Gabby's next. Uh, I guess uh, you just sort of spoke to what I was thinking is that I don't know anything about Robert's rule, and I just really just want to sit down with Rich and drill him and find out everything about it. Um, I'm going to add Megan and close stack. But uh, it sounds to me like there's nothing appealing about Robert's rule. It just sounds like really terrible. <laughs> and consensus sounds rad. So I'm just not sure wh where the balance even would exist. Can, can I respond to that real quickly? Uh, can we just plug that stack right, and then yeah. we can do it and then we can move on? Yep. Awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> Love, Greg, Megan. I just want to support what uh, Ron said. Uh, but uh, to uh, to add, I think I think what we're doing is a dynamic process. Also, I'm here because it's uh, consensus. Uh, I, I don't particularly like Robert's rules all either, because it's a win, win lose and it's and it's it's not an opportunity to talk about things. But I think it's a it's a uh, uh, it's dynamic. And and you know you talked about a minus one, a minus two, a ninety percent. There are all kinds of ways of of doing it, and I think that that it's, it could be helpful for us to keep our minds open so that at any given time we might want to change, even in the middle of a meeting, to uh, change uh, how, we define, how we define consensus, as long as it's within a, you know, a recognized uh, paradigm of consensus. Greg, Megan. Um. I feel a little bit better about this now that you've explained some, although I still don't feel completely. Um, I would like it, and I would suggest as a further um, movement on this, that you maybe hold a teach-in where you explain the rules and then give people um, something to go with through each um, of these processes and give them some uh, experience within it. That's me done. Um, mine is a slightly sped up version of yours. Um, could we perhaps have a 15 or 20 minute informal question time with those who are familiar enough about Robert's rules to take questions from the rest of us who haven't studied it if they feel comfortable perhaps giving some information um, to, to do so and just a quick people asking questions about things that they're not clear about receiving answers so that they can participate in the learning session that we're doing. Um, I'm going to, I want to check something because I think, I think what Rich is trying to do is ask questions like, do you like cooperation? Like, you know, really general things and then you'll go stand where you feel about or well, I guess that wouldn't make sense with okay. <laughs> oh, wait, do you have like just, real world? Yeah. Can you explain exactly what you're gonna things? do? Yeah. And then we can maybe have questions if we feel like it's really important. Because it, it may be that his process is I think it may be that his process will help us understand what Robert's rules and and consensus are. <clears throat> well, um, to speak to one of the benefits of Robert's rules, you could you could potentially argue that it's more efficient in a time perspective. Um, which would, so yeah, I, but um, one, one of the uh, potential ideas is to actually, and due to the time constraints, I wasn't going to do this, is break it down and, and I could ask you like specific things. Um, cooperation versus competition and you can do all this, and, but then with my time constraints, I don't th feel like we have the time for that, but based on the fact that these are all consensus things and these are all Robert's rules things, I was just going to ask the one question under the time constraints and go move about based on that. And here's the other thing. I'm totally open to this being like one time we do this and we could do this activity again after people learn more about these things. Alright, so then it sounds like it is a one question go to place and some people feel like they don't have enough information, so looking to the body, 
We've now got another, we had 10 minutes, we've got five minutes on the schedule we gave ourselves. Do we want to spend five minutes in open question time about this and then go, then basically do this exercise? Um, or do we want to extend time as a point of clarification? Is this exercise just for, for group growth and understanding or are we like, we're not like voting on anything, so why, let's, can we do it? This exercise is <clears throat> preceding a potential exercise education workshop on consensus, if that's where we're going to be, or... But ba basically I was thinking about like, we're not doing consensus, we actually need to learn consensus, and then I thought, wait a minute, maybe everyone doesn't want consensus. First, I need to figure out what people want. That's where I'm coming from. Oh, okay. Well, since we had, we allotted ourselves another 10 minutes, we've got four of those minutes. I, and there's been some requests for questions, and that's time that we allowed ourselves. We want to open up the floor for people to ask specifically questions about Robert's rules and consensus, and then do this process. Do people want to do that? If you're interested in that, can you show that you're interested in that? All those in favor? If you're not into that, can you show you're not into that? Opposed. Two, two, two and four. Can we can we vote strongly, or can we like show our feeling strongly on this so we know what to do? All those in favor? Can you restate what? All those in favor of spending four or five minutes, the rest of the time we have allotted, asking questions about this and then doing the the activity, please show your interest in that. All those who would prefer to just do the activity and then move on, please show your interest in that. We don't have very many minutes, so we're going to take like four minutes. If you have a question, ask some questions. Can, 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 I, can I just ask to do the activity, a motion to do the activity right now? Second. 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 All right. Okay. Second. Great. So, First, I want to ask uh, the people that don't feel like they really know, um, can they just go to that corner over there right now, way in the corner? Like, if, if you don't feel like you have a, a comfortable enough position to like actually place yourself on the spectrum right now, knowing that it's just like a temp, I'm just trying to get a temperature gauge of where people think they might be, like trying to strive for. But like. So if you don't have any clue, if you just go over there. Um, so I guess everyone else has an idea of where they lie on the spectrum. And you can move there now. I mean, very important and less important to clarify, I think, yeah. that you think the process is very important or less important. Yes. Right. Sorry. Census versus process rules. <laughs> oh, yeah. You might just get up. This is great, but think process doesn't matter. <laughs> So to clarify, to clarify, if you if if you if you if you think we should be striving for consensus, we should be at this end of the room. If you think that's like very important to you, you should be over there. So if your consensus is very important over there, if, if, if you think we should do consensus, but you're like, the process, you know, you're not really concerned, you're on the consensus wall, but it's not so important, and you can be anywhere in the spectrum. You can be halfway between consensus and Robert's role, and your importance level for process could be Mediocre. Mic check. Mic check. Does anyone feel called to speak to why they are where they are? Can I take a stack of three? One. Ron and Sarah. Well, I, I just think that uh, I'm standing directly under the less important sign directly in the middle because I feel like that it's going to become some amalgamation of whatever these two things are and uh, and I'm, I'm with you guys on whatever <laughs> side. Uh, that's that's my piece. I think more of you should come over here. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, we get it. My turn. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm over here because I think it's really important that we have consensus because we're a group, and if you don't want to be in the group, I mean, if you don't want to be part of the consensus, you probably don't belong in the group. And if, if you really, really belong in the group but you can't see, I think it's important to help lead you to understanding how this is useful. I think consensus is very important. It's not an absolute, but it's very, very important because the mind's a group, a group, after all. And that's why I'm over here on the consensus end and the relatively important end of it. Um, I think a lot of the consensus model is very beautiful, but I'm not 100% on that category because I think that um, some amount of conflict can lead to growth, and I also sometimes am worried about 100% consensus because I think that it forces conformity and drives out people who are unwilling to conform, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing to sometimes dissent from the group. I'm also interested in the perspective of someone in that area, the, the consensus but less important section, I guess. Yeah, um, I like the style of consensus more than Robert's rules, I guess, but I guess I feel like there's always a possibility of the illusion of consensus. So, sort of like um, trailing off of what she was saying. Um, there could be people that are just would rather see the process move along than really voice any discrepancies they have about something. And so, um, even though uh, things are open to discussion, people just might not be willing to discuss what they want to. Would you be interested in sharing my sure. idea? Um, I think the, the role of competition and weeding out ideas so that we have a basis for consensus is being underappreciated by the body. Um, we're not talking about the consensus that we have. We're talking about a means by which we find that consensus. Uh, and it's important that we have tools that allow us to make decisions based on consensus and not just have the touchy-feely of consensus. Um, we can do that without a GA or a process or anything. So I think they're both important. Is there anyone else who feels like, all right. Yeah, like as the only person on this side of the room, um, I kind of feel like the consensus model we have kind of, how do I put it, um, kind of fetishizes inclusivity and hearing everyone's points, no matter how informed they may be. Um, I feel that uh, using a debate <laughs> style can get the information out to everyone and instead of hearing the same views hashed out three or four times in almost entirely the same language, um, it allows me, it possibly would allow me um, to hear why someone feels really strongly and why someone feels very for and a very detailed and just getting more content out of everything. And I feel like it can be somewhat done in a group style, but everyone speaking on one issue when they don't necessarily all know what's going on is nothing more, I, well, not nothing more, but it's not really helpful past everyone feeling included. I just, I don't know much about Robert's rule of consensus, so I just on the consensus side because I know what that is. But uh, I'm standing in between less important and very important because I think it's good to have a middle ground because having it be, having a uh, process be not important at all gives people, um, I think, makes it so that it's just chaos. But then when there's too much um, focus on having Cool. then it shuts people up like when you have like staff and you can only have five and then the group votes down that person six can't speak so that person gets pissed off and leaves and doesn't come back so I think we need to have a middle ground or something close to the middle it doesn't have to be directly in the middle but okay. That's it. Uh, can I say something <coughs> So, um, everything is fluid, 
<laughs> Anarchy. I like, I'll go with the flow if you guys can, and let's just all be cool and do it how we feel like it at the time. You know, we, I mean, we've got several different sets of rules. Uh, we've all got brains, too. You know, we, while we're kicking it downstairs, like, drinking coffee and eating cake and stuff like that, um, we can talk about, like, what we want to do. You know, it's not that difficult. If there are a lot of new people, there, there could be, you know, a way that, you know, that's how you proceed. If there's a lot of new people, explain everything, go by a general idea, give a general idea. But, you know, just, we're seeing the same people. There are a couple new people here and there. But um, I think fluidity encourages um, attendance. All right. Um, hopefully that's been really informative and productive for everybody. I am looking at the time, and it's 8.45. I'm really hoping that we can um, get to some other things. Um, I think some people would be very pleased if we did accomplish a uh, But I think, I think also, I, I think that after such an intense, contentious GA, just the opportunity to talk some together is a really positive thing for tonight as well. So hopefully people find, are finding that useful. Um, okay, talking about informal proposals. There were